In this video, we'll see examples from art history as we explore different ways to pose ourselves or a model for a painted portrait. This video will show you three distinct ways to pose yourself or a model for portrait painting. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy. We teach the world to paint. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming helpful acrylic painting videos. Each of these orientations has its own set of benefits and they all have been used by portrait painters throughout the history of painting for various reasons. Let's start by discussing the most straightforward way of posing for a portrait, just looking straight ahead. We have created a video about face proportions that you should watch in order to understand why this method is so popular. You can find that video by clicking the card in the upper right corner of this video or by finding the link in the description below. When the subject of your portrait is looking directly at you, it's much easier to measure each feature concerning the other to ensure the proportions are correct. Here are some examples of this straightforward pose position from art history. Please note that these images are in the public domain and provided by the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. This is Cornille de Leon, Portrait of a Man, created in 1536. This is Rembrandt van Rijn, A Woman Holding a Pink, 1656. This is an unattributed portrait. It's French from the 17th century, simply called Portrait of a Man. The pro of painting a portrait that looks straight ahead is the ease of measuring each feature in relation to another. You can personalize this style to suit your needs by changing the lighting to highlight or feature specific subject matter attributes. Second, let's discover a portrait in the profile pose. Profile portraits show the person from the side, making it easier for beginners to visualize the portrait and reducing the measuring they must do. This pose is an interesting style choice that enhances the overall look of your painting. Here are a couple of examples of a profile portrait pose from history. This one is by Sir Peter Paul Rubens. It's called Agrippina and Germanicus, created in 1614. This interesting portrait is by Ambrogio de Pridis, Bianca Maria Sforza, created probably in 1493. The pro of working in this style is the reduction of detail that the artist must find in order to create a believable piece. Every aspect of the model's details are effectively cut in half, and this positioning also offers a fresh take on a typical looking portrait painting. A third method of positioning for portrait painting is what is known as a three-quarter view. This pose requires the subject to be slightly turned away from the center. Measuring facial features and proportions in this pose may seem more difficult, but it makes the overall painting more dynamic. With this view, the viewer sees even more features of the face and details that may not have been present with either pose discussed before this. The lighting situation and pose can help you, the painter, find dynamic highlights and shadows to show unique attributes of each face. Here are some examples from art history that show a three-quarter pose view. This painting is by Giovanni Battista Moroni and it's called Titian's Schoolmaster, created in 1575. And this portrait by Raphael is called Bindo Altavit, created in 1515. We hope this video helped you understand three of the most used and helpful poses for portrait paintings. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and subscribe to this channel for even more helpful acrylic painting content. If you want to learn more about painting portraits of people, check out the other helpful videos from our portrait painting playlist. Begin your acrylic painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free guides. See you next time.